Hey there guys, LTK here. Lakey Wood, I scored. Thanks for joining me. LTK here, love them knives. We, I scored it. I scored me a Pena. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I, when I saw the Pena X series knives, I just really am attracted to the design. I don't know. It's one of those crazy lust buys. As you look at the design and you just go, this is, this is nice. Now this is a full titanium version and you can get this in a regular silver or you can get it in bronze with this blue hardware here. And it's made by Riot Knives, of course. It's not a real big knife, but it's 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 a nice carry size knife, and it's not terribly slender and demure. It's it's kind of a good chunky monkey here, uh, for what it is, which is you know typical Riot overbuilt tank like stuff, and of course you get the uh, down covered pillow that soaks up every little piece of lint from here to kingdom come. I don't know why they went with this fuzzy thing. And I bitch every time I do this, so I'll just shut up about that. At least you get a zipper pouch, right? But for 365 smackaroos, yes, you ought to get one. Um, and yeah, like I said, not a custom, not a mid-tech, a production knife made by Riot in China. But man, what a good looking knife, huh? Enrique Pena. What, Laredo, Texas, I believe. And he'd done traditionals for a long time. And he's kind of digging, getting into these more tactical looking knives. Uh, so, I've, you know, I just saw some of his knives online that were, uh, that looked expensive. Like more expensive than I can ex afford. $1,050, you know, and that's that custom Barlow. And I've seen that baby out there. With that carbon fiber, I'm going to tell you what, that hand rub, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, good luck digging that money out of the couch. Uh, that ain't happening for me. In any case, you know, on, on uh, Knife Center, they have a little info on him. So you can pause and read Laredo, Texas, 06 you know, who influenced him, Armando Flores, and other people as time went on. And so, pause and read, pause and read, pause and read. He has machines and all kinds of cool stuff. And so, yes, and he makes great knives. And this is the X-Series uh, here. And so, you can get them. Oh, that's that's not these are okay 365 bucks and so you get that micarta or you can get that kind of green micarta or you can get carbon fiber or you can get the one like i got which is this bronze but see what i'm saying uh that may be the carbon fiber one yeah and then the silver with the blue as well so that's really cool i like his knives this is the only one i've ever had it's the first and it's the only so far. Like the backspacer, not a very big knife, not overly heavy. In fact, let's weigh it up. Because I kept thinking I saw somewhere it was like under five ounces. Of course, I'm not even looking at the sheet, right? Yeah, it is 4.65, so mm, 132 grams. I mean, well, like I said, it's not a real big knife. Let me scoop some of this garbage away from here because I'm going to get, uh, let me see, full-size Rex out here. The paramilitary two. Yeah, it's smaller than that, isn't it? And it'll leak even smaller when we reverse our, when we flip them. Yeah, smaller. Definitely. Now, probably fatter that way across here. What do you think? 13.4.52. See what our blade stock is. 0. 0.14, 3.7. Something like that. Let me see if I got my little micrometer here. If we can 
get a better feel for that. 0.15. Yeah, 3.8. Okay, so that's pretty stout blade stock for a knife that's no bigger than it is, right? And let's put the actual tape to it. Three and a quarter inch blade, eh, 82 millimeters, maybe, and seven and three eighths, which is about 18 and a half centimeters. So seven and three eighths, a little over seven and a quarter between. So an inch shorter than the Paramiltari two, but fatter this way. This is 0.45, this is 0.52, so fatter in the hand. It's got this faux kind of bolster thing, and then it's got this jig bone pattern, even though it's titanium, but I like that. I think it's really cool. Now you get the micarta ones, you know, so you've got kind of a bolster lock looking thing. And really, it was a tough call to make because that micarta... If you were really, really, really going to get this and carry it, I mean, like as your everyday type carry knife, you might want the micarta because you know what's going to happen to this anodized surface after a while, rubbing up against your pocket and all that kind of stuff, it will slowly come off. Now, you can always have it re-anode if you want later, but, you know, that micarta, that's not going to be a problem. Now, the bolster area, if it's anodized, which it doesn't look like it is on like this here. So, yeah, then it probably wouldn't be a problem. It probably wear better and longer if you had either the carbon fiber or the micarta. But I just couldn't not do this. I just thought this was really cool. I like that jig bone pattern and that full tie. And that bronze with the blue hardware really pops. Clip point blade, nice big choil in front for sharpening. It's got a bit of a recurve in there, so you're going to have to get a rod. And you may have those ceramic rods or whatever where you can do that. This is S35VN. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if I won't work that hard. Because uh, these super steels like S35VN, they're, they're a lot tougher to sharpen than like a 440 or an OS8 or things like that. So... You'd be working at it for a while. This would probably be one I might hand off to somebody who does it. Like Kevin, my, my knife sharpening guy, put his information in uh, down in the description section of my videos. But yeah, this is probably something I'd send to him and say, it's all yours, buddy. Um, really interesting grind up here in the tip, but this is a stone wash here. This is a satin looks stone washy up here and then this kind of just uh, another direction here on the satin I don't know if that's actually hand rubbed or if that's just just a satin um, but good looking knife goes in and out of the pocket I did put it in my pocket you know just to kind of see if it did and it and it did and it went in came out just fine um, I took it apart and put it back together. No issues with the hardware. Came apart real easy. The actual pivot tube is this side. The screw is this side. So that just unscrewed. I didn't, even though it's not a D-shaped pivot, uh, it didn't, this didn't turn on me when I unscrewed it from this side. Uh, and then these screws, these are all T8 screws. So just the same size uh, Torx, we'll get them all. And it's got chimping on your flipper tab. The flipper tab doesn't take over the, the design of the knife, you know, doesn't get obtuse or anything. It's pretty good and it's pretty intuitive. The ergos are good on this. This feels comfortable in the hand. Reverse grip, yeah, almost better actually. Uh, really good. But yes, this feels good. I don't... Yeah, you could maybe go forward on this. Oh, by the way. I don't know. Well, okay. So it's reasonably sharp right out of the pouch. And of course, outside the pouch comes the box. Like this. 
Yeah. Interesting. Like the blade design, piercing, slicing. You can do all that. I think I saw somebody say it was like uh, 0.2 behind the edge as far as thickness goes. And of course that will vary a little bit along this grind here as well. But really handsome knife. Let me show you a picture of it disassembled before I, you know, before you click out. And uh, ceramic bearings. You know, they're captured. It's, yeah, you know, it's not like crazy like exotic stuff here this is fairly standard stuff uh it's funny how we get spoiled with that but for 365 bucks you know i feel like i need to get spoiled here's your hardened steel insert with your ceramic detent of course these are these are washers steel washers that interface in here and you can see how they've weight relieved inside these scales and of course here's your Here's your backspacer, and there's a locator pin in here right there. So, goes right into here, and then these are the screws. And this is your lanyard hole. So, if you kind of get that, and this is your blade stop, of course. Nothing crazy or insane. Pretty, pretty straight up. Built like a tank. Riot, they build them like a tank, don't they? Good looking knife. Great action. Probably get better with time. I mean, it doesn't give you a hydraulic drop. Although I, this is how I put it back together, you know, so you might be able to adjust that pivot tension and give it some different action than this. But I'm all fine with this. It's centered up like a champ and no blade play, no lock rock. And by the way, there's your lockup. 30%, I'd say. Right in there. See how they've done the little milled out areas in here so you can get your thumb in there. Dis disengage the lock bar. There's your pass through. It's a little elevated, so you can get to that. Not a lot, but then again, you don't want to spoil the look either. That's enough. That's all you need. You need enough to disengage that. Big old thick scales on there, although they were weight relieved, so. And that backspacer, the old tank tread deal there. I like it. It's a good looking knife. Let me see what else they threw in the pouch. I pulled it out, so, nah, nothing. Oh, okay, sometimes you get a embroidered patch or something. Wow, okay. This is the way it came from DLT Trading, so it is what it is, but. No disappointments here on this. Uh, just a little confusion on how does everybody have a... It's like, how do you get... Okay. Enrique Pena X-Series Lanny's Clip Flipper. Leong Ma Lanny Flipper. Why is Lanny? What's what's all... And then his, his inspiration with was Tony Bowes, you know? Kind of a loosely inspired by Lanny's clip traditional knife. So, and of course, this is a different, this is not a clip point blade. So, and the, and the handle's a bit different, if you can see. But kind of there, you know? Yeah, very similar. Some money, huh? Some money. So, I mean, everybody, hey... I'm going to have LTK's Lanny's Flipper. Everybody gets to make a Lanny Flipper, right? Whatever. That's a little odd. But this is really cool. Really cool. And it's a chunk of change. Feels good in the hand. Sharp out of the box. It better be. 365. I'm still bitching and moaning about that, aren't I? But, you know, you go buy one of his customs for 1100 bucks and you go all of a sudden you feel like you stole this uh although he never put his hand to any of these but this is his design and of course it's so weird i know somebody was saying something about well if riot comes out with like the riot future it's a you know it's a tashi baruka design but they're not saying tashi baruka 
whatever series knife made by Riot. So it's kind of a collaborative where the makers turned everything on its head. It's not a knife, you know, designed by and collaborated with so-and-so, but it's just a, called a Riot Lanny Flipper. This is where the maker flips the deal and Riot's name is not associated anymore. They're just the OEM manufacturer, right? So that's doing that, like the Ferrum Forge series and, you know, all these people doing that kind of thing. Berg Blades, of course, having Wee Knives make the Iron Wolf and the Pup and all that. So it's it's flipping upside down. It's the maker uh, with their name on it, and Riot has just disappeared. They're just uh, they're just making them. Good looking knife though, huh? Really nice. It that detent. I'd say that detent's a good strong six. It's stronger than the average, and it's actually after a while it's kind of changed a little bit, loosened up just a bit. But I can't throw this out. I can't gravity flip this. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's strong. And it's hard to fail. I did fail it once or twice. I was trying to. And I actually got it done. But I tried to fail that. I tried to fail that too. And it's not. See what I'm saying? It, it's holding it really good. Yeah. It's holding it really good. So, man, six, six and a half. You know, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Although, can you middle finger flick it? Oh, by the way, yes, you can. Flipper, flicker, whatever you want to do. But that's strong detent, so you kind of get got to get a hold of that. And you know what? They're not giving you a big cutaway to get a hold of. Just this little, just that little fuller. But that's enough. That's enough to get it done. All right. We got to click out of here. Flanagan, Finian, all our good luck charms here on the table. Pena, X Series, Lenny's Clip. And it is. It's a great knife. Good looking. Get them with micarta. Get them with carbon fiber. But just get them. If you got the money. Oh man, I stepped in it when I rolled out the cash on this one. But it is a sweet knife. No doubt. Take care, my friends. You know what we do around here. Until next time, we love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.